Hello, next community. So I'm uh, having a race. Blue SCSI 2 is on the left. Zulu SCSI 2 O is on the right. Identical next stations. Uh, both have 32 megs of RAM, new old stock floppies, power supplies, new caps. And okay, let's see if this will work this time. It's about four in the morning, and I've been battling these systems all day. So let's see if it works. One of them had a DOA motherboard with new caps, and that was a chore trying to figure that one out. So let's go. One, two, three, go. All right, and they're off. Okay, testing, testing. So we got, we've got the Zulu bella is complaining because it's four in the morning okay so as you can see we got blue scuzzy two on the left and zulu scuzzy on the right now we're going through the zoo boot process <laughs> okay there we go still neck and neck ah okay looks like blue scuzzy had an edge there and they're both racing this is interesting it's kind of neck and neck now the story goes that the uh, blue SCSI 2 guys are using the code from the Zulu SCSI guys. Let's see. But we've got identical side-by-side -side setups. I mean, it's pretty much neck and neck. Let's see who gets to the login screen first. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, oh, Zulu SCSI by a nose. Okay. So I just wanted to show the boot process because it's late. I'm going to do some more videos tomorrow, but you can see that it's pretty much neck and neck. So there you go. Uh, we'll go to the boot process. What I'll do next is a login. And I just wanted to um, show, uh, that's just a printer popped up there because uh, uh, that SCSI SD was connected to a printer. <sighs> All right, it's late. My cat's complaining I need to go to bed, but I just wanted to get this out there. I finally have them both working. It shouldn't be this hard. I mean, man, but it'll make it easy to test them tomorrow, and I'll do a proper video. I'll get a little tripod set up, and uh, hey, it's good to know that they're pretty much the same speed, so we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.